Hello everyone, today I will show the solutions to the Prairie Math League High School Round 138, Problems 5 and 6. So for problem number 5, we need to find the number of squares that we can get by choosing 4 vertices from the 16 dots below. Now this is a classic problem in counting, and the key is to find all 5 cases of um, possible types of squares. So for the first case, we have a 1 by 1 square. Uh, hang on a sec. We have a one by one square as shown here. Um, and now there's nine ways to do so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine ways. Now for the second one, we have a two by two. So this is a one by one and this is a two by two. And we can get this in one, two, three, four ways. Now, three by three, obviously there's just one way which is this entire three by three. And now we get to the, um, more, the, the more creative cases, let's say. Um, this is square root of two by square root of two, and there are four of them. One, two, three, four. Then finally, we have this thing here, which is kind of angled at a very strange angle. So this requires a bit of um, a, a small amount of insight to actually figure out what this is and this is square root of 3 by square root of 3, and there's two ways because we can also have this. Now, summing these, we get the answer of 20, which is option choice E. For problem number 6, we have 10 kids, all of different heights, and they must line up in um, two equal rows. So this is a um, 5 by 2 um, grid, or something like that. Anyways, um, so they will take a picture from the front and from the right. So they will take a picture from this angle and from this angle. And they, and in each case, there is no taller kid blocking a shorter kid. And we need to find the number of ways. So the key thing to realize is that if there's a kid here, he has to be taller than this person here and this person here. But this person has to be taller than this person here. So out of all these four spaces, this kid has to be the tallest. And uh, by uh, quite a similar argument, we can also show that this kid has to be the shortest among these four kids. Because again, um, this kid is will have to be um, shorter than each of these kids. So now this, and now this is not just specific to this kid. This kid will also have to be shorter than all of these kids and taller than all of these kids. So with this in mind, we now consider that if this kid is seven or smaller, then well, there's eight spots here, and this kid has to be um, the tallest among among them. Now, no matter how you try to choose any eight numbers from ten, from the from, from one to ten, which we're going to assume to be our heights for now just for simplicity, we just order. But if, if this is seven or less, then um, uh, um, there's no way you can choose any set of 10 such that seven is the tallest. Uh, the minimum you need is eight. And in a similar way, this, you, you can show that this can't be 10 because it's already taken. So this can only be um, eight to nine. So we have a restriction for this. And similarly, we can see that this is from six to eight, this is from four to seven, and this is from two to six. Alright, so now with this in mind, we start from the um, purple square. This can take values from 2 to 6, which we don't want to work with right now. So we're going to skip directly with the, to, to the green square. Now, if the green square is 4, well, there's only three, um, two, um, um, two other numbers that can fit in these and these, in these spots um, in any order. So we have two ways. Either this is 2... Either this purple square is 2, or this purple square is 3. Now, so this is 2, 2 or 3. So we have two ways. Now, if this is 5, pretty much the same thing, but this can be actually 2, 3, or 4. So three ways. If this is 6, then we add 5. And so on. You get the idea. So in total, we see that... Um, 
um, we have basically a pairing for um, um, green box number and purple box number. So, like the number of purple boxes possible. Um, with this out, now we move on to the um, uh, blue score. So, blue score. If this blue score is six, then this can be either um, four or five. So it's either this or this possibility. And each of these have their own number of ways, two and three in this case. So the total number of ways is two plus three, or we can write this as five. Now, if this number is seven, then this can also be six in this box. So we add four to get nine. And finally, if it's eight, we can also have five, so we get 14. And we're done with the blue box. So now we move on to the final dark green box. Um, if the dark green box is eight, then this can be six or seven. So either this or this, which is 14. And if this is nine, we additionally have this could be eight, so 28. And our total is 42, which is option choice D. And we're done.